Tonight, Indianapolis is preparing to bury one of its finest, a police officer who was among the latest to fall in gun violence that is growing so rapidly there that one city official said the city is under attack. What's causing this? We asked Dean Reynolds to find out. There have been 75 murders so far this year in Indianapolis. At this pace, a higher per capita rate than New York City. The violent crime here has accompanied a sudden rise in illegal weapons and heroin. Troy Riggs is the director of public safety. Anytime you have a type of drug that's being sold and widespread, money becomes an issue. And people will try to sell that drug to make money. And then people will start committing robberies and doing things they otherwise wouldn't do. Uh, in search for that drug and a search for money to pay for that. I don't think there's one investigation where we arrest traffickers that we don't recover firearms. You didn't see that five years ago. You see it now. We toured the troubled east side of Indianapolis with Jack Riley of the Drug Enforcement Administration. So you've got a ready supply of drugs and a ready supply of weapons. Sounds like a very combustible combination. It, it really is, and, and to be honest with you, that's why I don't sleep at night. In Indianapolis, 31 police officers have been shot at over the past 18 months. Nine of them were hit. But resistance to tax increases makes it harder to hire more. Over the 4th of July holiday, police officer Perry Wren, a 22-year veteran, was killed in a gunfight with a suspect who police say fired an assault weapon at him. You said of what happened on Saturday that the city was attacked. I did say that because I believe any time a police officer is attacked, the city's attacked. Today in Indianapolis, the flags are flying at half staff. Tomorrow, Officer Wren will be laid to rest. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Indianapolis.